Welcome to Matters Financial and Geopolitical from a Frontier. Thank you for stopping by. Currency markets, Euro 112.06, rebounding after the draggy sell-off. Dollar index, 97.58. Um, Japanese yen, 108.40. Uh, Swiss franc, 0.9986. The pound, 125.81, having a rebound. The Australian dollar, 0.6873, India rupee 69.6875, South Korean won firmer 1175.52, the Brazilian real firmer 386, Egyptian pound 16.77, and the South African rand firmer as well 14.5030. And I think emerging markets caught a bid yesterday, that was on the back of a very dovish draggy, and therefore markets think that that was predictive of a very dovish. Federal Reserve. This is a one-year chart of the dollar index. We're still very firm in the uptrend. I got no reason to worry. Even if they cut rates, I think others will be cutting more. Euro-dollar uh, last at 112.05, so regaining the low for the year 111. Need to get back down there. Snapchat closed at a 52-week high. It is up 169.69% this year outperforming every S&P company in 2019. Facebook wants its cryptocurrency to one day rival the greenback, and I thought to myself, that's going to be a problem, because most people who threaten uh, to undermine the petrodollar tend to end up dead. Facebook unveiled plans for a new global financial system with a broad group of partners from Visa to Uber on board to create a cryptocurrency that expects will one day trade much like the dollar and inject a new source of revenue. Growth of its main platform has plateaued in some major markets and crypto payments would be a way to turn messaging across WhatsApp, Facebook and Instagram into a business that complements its advertising operation which generates almost all of its revenue. It is out of the question that Libra becomes a sovereign currency, Bruno Le Maire said in an interview on Europe One Radio. It can't and must not happen. It would make a scenario where there's a run on the bank completely impossible because we are backed one for one, he said. Facebook revenue from payments and other service was less than 2% of total sales in 2018. And then I came across a clever tweet from Sid Verma, who was asking Joe Wiesenthal, is Libra M-Pesa for white people? Financial Times, Libra is nothing more than a brazen attempt to override national monetary sovereignty by creating a global scale Federal Reserve equivalent within which Facebook's dominance is veiled by the cunning use of buzzwords, Financial Times. Listen to this video, there's a link, Bitcoin Q&A, Facebook's Libra blockchain, which isn't really a blockchain. Felix Salmon, for reasons I don't understand, almost nobody in crypto has the ability to communicate clearly in plain English. Facebook is no exception. Zero Hedge, how is Facebook's cryptocurrency a cryptocurrency when it is backed by fiat currency? Tracy Alloway, old banking put money in this regulated entity and earn interest. New banking put money in this not yet regulated entity and don't earn interest. And I wrote about Bitcoin over the weekend and I said let's turn uh, to the enigmatic mercurial fugitive and Bitcoin evangelist John McAfee, who always seems to pop up in my feed like an acid trip whenever Bitcoin is doing its parabola imitation. And the latest pop-up is this, the CIA tries to silen silence me, I escape. One of my many body doubles disappears on the way to do a keynote as me. He wakes up 11 days later with no money. Hospital says he was poisoned. Wake up, America. With no recollection. Gold, 13.42, I think. You look at this chart from Santiago AU Fund, and I think we break down again. Crude oil, $54, WTI. China's iron ore futures surged 4% yesterday to the highest in five years. The world's best performing precious metal stock is up almost 90% this year. This is Impala Platinum Holdings. Uh, benefited from surging palladium and rhodium prices.
Trump is weighing new sanctions on Turkey over the buying of Russian missile defense systems. And given where Turkey is right now, any new sanctions is going to send that over the edge.